In Vancouver, Canada, there is a B&B named the Corkscrew Inn. This inn contains a few hundred antique corkscrews, plus about 80 stained glass corkscrews. In the inn, there's a wine museum containing many antique things related to grape growing and wine production. The most unusual item in the museum is the world's first steam-powered corkscrew, conceived and machined by myself. Let's take it out, make some steam, and open a bottle of wine. Well, first we have to put water in the slobber tank, and it's called, I call it the slobber tank because the exhaust steam flows into it. And then from there, we pump it into the boiler, watch until the gauge gets up to here. So we need to insert the bottle into the holder and clamp it up like this. Now to uh, light the burners, one has to light them both at the same time, otherwise they just blow each other out. So the way I've found to do that is put a candle at each one and then turn on my gas. And there we go. We're running. Okay, so steam comes out of the steam dome, comes through the exhaust pipe, around, through the flame tube. At this point, the steam is at about 250 degrees superheated steam, comes up through the lines over here, picks up some oil, which gets injected into the two cylinders, pistons go up and down, and then the exhaust goes into the slubber tank. This lever is forward, neutral, reverse. There.